Hello everyone, welcome to Geeker Mag. Sometimes whenever you launch Valorant, it instantly crashes and dialog box appears with error message that reads, connection error, Valorant has encountered a connection error, please relaunch the client to reconnect with error code VAN1067. And when you follow the suggestion, the same thing happen again. If you landed on this video, then it's possible that you are also facing the same issue, right? In this video, I'm going to share a quick workaround using which you can easily resolve this issue. But before we move forward, if you find this video useful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. Usually this error dialog box appears when Riot Vanguard, which is a custom game security software, stopped working. So to fix this issue, here is what you need to do. First make sure Riot Client and Riot Vanguard is closed fully. For that, open system tray and exit both. In case the icon for these two services are not available, then ignore this step. Click on the search icon and type services. When it appears in the search results, click to open it. In the services, look for VGC. Right click on it and select properties. Here switch to log on and make sure that local system account is checked. After that, switch to recovery tab. Here using the drop down next to first failure, second failure and subsequent failure, select restart the service for all the options. Next head over to restart service after option and set it value to zero. At last click apply and ok. Now close everything, search for Valorant. and run it as administrator. After applying the workaround, if you again see a connection error dialog, then this confirms that solution fails to fix the issue. On the other hand, if you stay connected for entire match, confirms that your issue is resolved and you can enjoy the game. Unfortunately, there is a limitation of this method that you need to apply the same fix every time you have to play the game. Also, there is an alternate method that you can try. Open services and locate VGC. Right click on it and select properties. Under general tab, Set startup type to automatic, click apply and OK. After that, run Valorant as administrator and check if this fixes the issue. So these are the two methods that you can use to fix this issue. Let me know in the comments which method helped you in fixing the issue. Also, if you are aware of any solution that help you, then feel free to share in the comments as this will help other affected users. Also, there is a blog post in the description that I frequently update with new solutions. So keep an eye on it. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.